helper here in the WOW Lab. Whoa! And this is the one and only Sparky! Sparky's my super smart friend who always flashes in with great ideas and experiments that make us say WOW! Hello friends! Welcome to my WOW Lab! I'm so glad you're here. I have some wonderful surprises planned for all of you today. Where did Sparky go? This happens all the time. Sparky's here one minute and then gone in a flash. Oh well, I could use some extra help in the lab today. Will all of you be my lab helpers? Yes. Yeah. <gasps> oh yeah, wonderific, wonderific, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, wait, there are so many fun things we do in our lab. Ooh, I wonder what wonderful experiment Sparky has for us today. When we need to get in touch with Sparky, we clap our hands to the beat of the name, just like this. Sparky! Let's try it now. Sparky! Hello, lab helpers. I have an experiment for you today that is full of wonder. But before you can get started, you have to know the two WOW Lab rules. Rule number one is to be kind. You can be kind by staying quiet when others are talking. If you can be kind, let me hear you say, shh, 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 shh. Lab helpers, rule number two is to be safe. Let me hear you say, be safe. Be, be safe. safe. That's it. You can be safe by staying in your spot and keeping your hands to yourself. Wow, I think you're ready to help Gio with the wonderful experiment I have set up for you. Take it away, Gio. You've got it, Sparky. One last thing you need to do to be lab helpers like me is put on our safety glasses. Put yours on with me on the count of three. One, two, three. <gasps> Wowie kazowie! Helpers, I think Sparky is trying to tell us something about our experiment today. Do you think Sparky wants us to have the bright lab lights on or off? Ah! I think you're right. Thanks, Sparky. Wow! This looks super wonderful! Helpers, it looks like everything is glowing. No wonder Sparky wanted us to turn off the lights. It looks like Sparky has given us a container of some sort of liquid. It looks clear. 
like water. Let's give it a shake and see what happens. Hmm, it moves like water. Ew, but it's definitely not water. It feels like some kind of oil. Ooh, helpers, look at this paint. It's glowing too. And Sparky gave us some droppers. So I think he wants us to drop the glowing paint into the big container. Let's try it and see what happens. Everyone, pretend to squirt some paint with me. Here we go. Wow. It's like floating drops of glowing color. This is so cool. We need to try another color. Oh, wow. <gasps> Amazing. Look, friends. Look what happens when we only drop a tiny amount of paint into the oily container. And then when we put a lot in there. It's so cool. Okay, let's try uh, this color next. Everyone. Hold up your droppers like this, and let's drop in some paint. Oh, this is so wonderful. I love it so much. Aha, I think I figured out what is happening. This container is full of oil, and the paint is full of water. And water and oil do not mix together. So what we are left with is glowing bubbles of color that look amazing. This is the best. I could sit here and look at these colors all day, but I'm sure Sparky has more for us to do. That was so fun. I say it's time to check back in with Sparky and see what other wonderful surprises are in store for us today. Remember, to check in with Sparky, we just clap and say, Sparky! Let's do it together, lab helpers. Sparky! Wow, that experiment was wonderful. The Wow Lab is always full of wonder and fun. Speaking of wonder, I have a friend who is wondering about something. Let's listen carefully and see if we can help. Hey, Sparky and Geo, I've been wondering about something. What is heaven like? Have you ever wondered that too? Hmm, that's a great question. Actually, I have wondered that very same thing. Anytime I'm wondering about something and I don't know the answer, Sparky always takes me to the best book ever, the Bible. Lab helpers, let's get ready to hear a story from the Bible by clicking on our listening ears. Click, click. Now, let's put on our special eyes. Zoop, zoop. Sparky, we're all set. Please show us a story in the Bible that can help us with this question. The Bible is the best book ever, full of wonder and truth. I have the perfect story from the Bible today. This is John. He was one of Jesus' best friends. One day, Jesus told John all about heaven. Heaven is God's home, and he wants to share it with all of us. Jesus told John that everyone who follows Jesus will be in heaven one day, singing praises to God all the time. Everyone will be happy, and no one will ever be sad or sick or sleepy or scared. Then, Jesus showed John what heaven looks like. There will be 12 gates, and each is made of a single pearl. The walls are made of beautiful gemstones, and the roads are made of shiny gold. It is big enough for everyone to have a room, even you and me. In heaven, we will not need the sun or the moon to give us light. 
practice, God will give us all the light we need. John was amazed at how wonderful heaven is. God wants you and me to live in heaven with him one day because he loves us so much. There are so many things we can wonder about heaven. Like, what will our bodies look like when we're there? Will we ever feel hungry? Or will we need to sleep? The Bible tells us many things about heaven, but it's so wonderful that there's no way we can know everything about what it will be like. No wonder we call this the Wow Lab. Stories from the Bible always have me saying, wow. <laughs> it all makes sense now. In our experiment today, everything changed when we turned off the lights and the lab and our experiment glowed. It was amazing. And it makes me think of heaven. The Bible tells us how wonderful heaven will look and how perfect life will be there. And it's amazing to know that God wants us to live with him in heaven forever. Lab helpers, it's so much fun to ask questions and wonder about things because it helps us learn more about places like heaven and how much God loves us. So I want you to wonder about heaven every day. Let me hear you say this after me. I can wonder. I can wonder. About heaven. About heaven. When we think about how amazing God is and the amazing things he's done, it fills us with wonder. That reminds me of a verse in the Bible that Sparky tells me all the time. Sparky, will you share that special verse with our lab helpers? You got it, Geo. This verse comes from the second book of the Bible called Exodus. It says, your glory fills me with wonder. You do amazing things. Glory is a word we use to describe how amazing God is. You know, Geo and I have a song we like to sing about this verse. Lab helpers, stand up and sing it too. Mountains and trees, your goodness never ends. You are great, and I know every day as I grow, you are my closest friend. Your glory fills me with wonder, cause you, my God, do amazing things. Your glory fills me with wonder, cause you, my God. Oceans, mountains, and trees, your goodness never ends. You are great and I know, every day as I grow, you are my closest friend. can take a seat. I am so glad you came to be helpers in the WOW Lab today. We've had so much fun, but we're not finished yet. We have one more wonderful experiment to do. It's going to be colorific. Oh, it looks like Sparky wants us to mix some of these colors to make a new color. Hmm, 
I wonder what color Sparky wants us to make. Lab helpers, what color do you think Sparky wants us to make? Orange. That's it. If we can answer two questions from today's lab time, we will get to mix two colors and make a brand new color. Question number one asks, what place did Jesus tell John about and let him see? The red liquid says, the wow lab. The purple liquid says, the mountains. And the yellow liquid says, heaven. So what did Jesus show John? Heaven. That's right. Jesus told John to write down all he had heard and saw about what heaven would be like. And now we can read about it in the Bible. Wow, okay. Question number two says, who does God want to live with him in heaven? The yellow liquid says, stuffed animals. The purple one says, flowers and trees. And the red beaker says, you and me. Who does God want to live in heaven? You and me. Wonderful, you got it. God wants you and me to live forever with him in heaven because he loves us so much. Lab helpers, I wonder what will happen if we mix this red liquid with this yellow liquid. Do you think it will make orange? You did a great job remembering what we learned today and helping make a super cool new color. Oh, hi Sparky. I think we need to share this with our friend who was wondering about heaven too. Hi Molly. Today we discovered that the Bible tells us a little bit about what heaven looks like, but that it's more wonderful than we can imagine. It's where God lives and he wants us to live there with him forever. Wow, heaven sounds wonderful. I'm so glad God wants us to live there with him. I'm gonna tell everyone I know. Hey, Tansy! Oh, <laughs> sorry. And we wanted to tell you what we've learned today. Lab helpers, say this after me. I can wonder. I can wonder. About heaven. About heaven. heaven. That's it. As you head out of the lab today and back to your homes, you can be filled with wonder as you remember that heaven is a wonderful place God made just for you. I hope you have a wonder-filled day, and I can't wait to see you back in the lab next week. Bye.
and not cold Let's all be hot and not cold They are the opposite Oh,